Today, Indonesia is making a new history. Finally, a future ship made by PT London officially belongs to the Indonesian Navy. Our first attack craft is a formidable ship capable of responding to future challenges that will protect Indonesia's oceans from all threats. As an archipelagic country with the largest sea area in the world, Indonesia has great potential to become the world's maritime axis and is an important element for the progress and glory of a country. Yang terhormat Kepala Staf Angkatan Laut, Laksamana TNI Yudo Margono, beserta Ibu Vero Yudo Margono, yang kami hormati segenap pejabat utama Mapesal beserta istri, pimpinan Kota Ma TNI Angkatan Laut beserta istri, Direktur PT Lundin beserta staf, hadirin tamu undangan yang berbahagia. Indonesian Shipbuilder PT London also known as North Sea Boats, has launched a new fast attack craft trimaran for the Indonesian Navy. KCR trimaran, named KRI Golok 688, is the first ship product made of composite material, which has the advantages of high specific strength, is lighter, and has excellent fatigue resistance and corrosion resistance. With the materials implemented, the KRI Golok 688 becomes one of the stealth ships that is not easily detected by the enemy. Chief of Staff of the Navy, Admiral Yudo Margono, said KRI Golok 688 should be used to carry out any given operational task, both military operations for war and military operations other than war. With its high speed and high destructive power, it is hoped that this ship will be able to carry out the hit-and-run fast missile boat tactic. Today we are at Dermarga Madura, Coarmada 2, Surabaya, East Java. The Chief of Naval Staff, Kasau, Admiral TNI Yudo Margon, and Panko Armada II Admiral TNI, Dr. Iwan Isnorwanto, inaugurated the Republic of Indonesia warship, which added to the strength of the Navy's fleet, namely KRI Golok 688. On that occasion, Marine Lieutenant Colonel Primayanta AAL Alumni Force 48 was inaugurated by Kasau as commander of KRI Golok 688. KRI Golok will strengthen the Koarmada 1 fast ship unit in Tanjung Uban. The delivery ceremony is the final stage of building a ship, which begins with steel cutting, continues with keel laying, launching, ship naming, commodore inspection, and ends with the handover ceremony. Laporan kesiapan penyerahan satu unit kapal cepat rudal trimaran kapal golok. Berdasarkan surat perintah aso kasal. Nomor Sebrin 87 Ika Romawi 2021 Tanggal 12 Maret tahun 2021 Dibentuk tim direksi Dengan kekuatan 5 personil Guna melaksanakan kegiatan pengawasan pembangunan kapal KCR Trimaran Sampai dengan pembangunan KCR Trimaran selesai Hasil yang dicapai selama proses pembangunan sebagai berikut Pembangunan kapal dapat dilaksanakan dengan baik, lancar, jumlah dan mutu sesuai spesifikasi yang tertuang dalam kontrak. Verifikasi kelaikan hasil pengujian terhadap satu unit kapal golok 
dinyatakan lulus dan memperoleh sertifikat layak laut dan sertifikat kesesuaian kapal dari Dislaik Matal. Selanjutnya, KCR Trimaran, kapal kalau siap untuk diserah terimakan dari PT Lundin Industri Invest kepada TNI Angkatan Laut. Terima kasih atas perhatian. Selesai. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim pada hari ini, Jumat, tanggal 14 Januari 2022, pukul 15.05 waktu Indonesia Barat. Dengan ini, KRI Golok 688 saya resmikan masuk jajaran TNI Angkatan Laut. With a length of 63.5 meters, weight of 245 tons, the X-63 Trimaran is operated by three crew officers and able to carry 35 person with fully air-conditioned 12 special force and 20 crew ship. With maximum speeds of over 30 knots and operational range of 2,000 nautical miles with 16 knots cruising speed, featuring all the latest technology for sail navigation and broad communication systems. KRI Golok 688 comes equipped with integrated solutions for land, air and sea border surveillance. The four propulsion water jets are powered by four V12 diesel engines that generate a maximum 1800 horsepower each, ensuring high performance and impressive maneuverability. In terms of life cycle costs, the carbon fiber composite is entirely superior to steel and aluminium for fatigue. The superior corrosion resistance reduces the platform life cycle costs significantly and following ISO 9001 standardization, including DNVGL structural approval. very proud to have built one of the most advanced vessel ever. The X-63 Trimaran, also known as KRI Golok 688, developed and built in Indonesia with world leading partners, makes Indonesia the second country in the world that capable of producing stealth ships. <laughs>